Welcome to episode 91 of the Radio Control Show. Sponsored by Amy and Hobbies.com, your one-stop RC hobby store. We've heard rumors of a new four-wheel drive short course truck in the works at Losi, and even saw a video of a prototype truck cleaning house at a local SoCal track. Well, now Losi has finally released the production version and they are calling it the 10 SCTE. This truck is pretty sick. At one time or another, every RC pilot has a need for speed. If you want to turn and burn with the best of them, but don't want the expense of a jet model aircraft, check out the Jackal 50. Featured in the March issue of Model Airplane News, this high performance Sport R from Hangar 9 has all the speed and clean lines of a jet, but the simplicity of a normal two-stroke low engine. It's a quick build and designed to accept Robart retracks. We love watching crawling videos and have a few planned in the near future. It's always cool to see the creative ways that some guys set up their crawler courses. This course has to be one of the coolest ones that we've ever seen. It's set up in a garage, which means that these guys get to run no matter what the conditions are outside. The newest and smallest version of the Trojan is from Park Zone and featured in the March issue of Electric Flight. Sporting removable landing gear, the Ultra Micro T28 Trojan is a bind and fly plane that can be ready to go in less than 15 minutes. Supply your own DSM-2 transmitter, charge the battery, and you're all set for great performance both indoors and out. ProLine has just released a bunch of new gear including their new Bulldog body for the Team Associated T4.1. According to ProLine, the aggressive front end design will give the truck more off-power steering and cleaner airflow over the rear wing. The body includes window masks, overspray film, and a sticker sheet. Go to rccaraction.com and join in the discussion about cab forward bodies. A Main Hobbies, the biggest selection of remote control cars, trucks, planes, and helicopters. Want parts and accessories? A-Main Hobbies has what you need. Visit us at amainhobbies.com or call 800-705-2215. Get it all at A-Main Hobbies. Leave your competition in the dirt. Shot in an ultra-secret test facility, this homemade RC flying saucer makes a successful test flight in Norway. Built using three and six millimeter Depron sheet foam, this quadcopter saucer is one meter in diameter and weighs about three and a half pounds. Though the test flights show it has poor yaw control and there are issues with the motors quitting during flight, this escape from Area 51 is having a lot of fun this winter. There are even lights for night flight.
Head on over to rccaraction.com slash rcshowsweeps and modelairplanenews.com slash rcshowsweeps. Fill out the forms and enter these promo codes to win. Good luck. As some rock crawling clubs, in the scale class, they tell you that you have to have a spare tire in the truck. But nobody says it has to be a functional spare tire. So when you're adding weight to the bed by adding a whole bunch of accessories, you can reduce weight by modifying that spare tire and lowering your center of gravity. Basically, the tire needs to look like a functional tire. So anything behind the tire can go if it's not being seen. So on this tire, we remove the beadlock ring, we cut up half of the rim, and we cut up the back side of the tire to reduce weight. Once you put it on the truck and mount everything up, you'd never know that was done. Remember to head to your local hobby shop or newsstand for the marked issues of Radio Control Car Action and Model Airplane News. You can also check out rccaraction.com and modelairplanenews.com for everything we covered this week. Thanks again for joining us on the Radio Control Show. And we'll see you next time. You can sauce. Oh yeah, how do you screw that up? You. All right.